What's up people? Welcome back to the channel. There hasn't been a video last week because we've had a disaster. I'll go through that in a bit with you though and I'm absolutely gutted about it. My face might not look it but I am, honestly. So in today's video we are at my house again. Welcome, welcome to my crib and we are doing, I'm saying we, yeah me and you, we. We are doing the front room. So the lounge is getting done out. I'm going to be adding sockets, down lights, and we are also having a media wall built. So there'll be an electrics in there, the spots in there. I'll go through it all with you in a bit though. So yeah, I'm going to get all the stuff covered up and then get to it. Big up all my subscribers. Big up you lot for coming back or big up you if you are new here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That would be awesome. We are well on our way to 6k now so it would be nice if you do consider pressing that button make it gray you know what i'm saying yeah run the ting so here we are this is what's existing we've got cable on a patris there screwed into wooden back box nice we've got a socket that was in that corner in trunking down there we've got all this lovely electrics here which is nice couple of extension leads on extension leads so that'll be sorted eventually and then down the back we've got a double socket just one down here and it's run to a spur down there which does this this is all going to get ripped out media wall is going across this wall here it's going to finish there by the door it's going to come out and return across all the way here i am having it built one of our customers is a very good chippy and has a big chippy business so he's building a case for me that's just going to slide in and screw into place which should be nice left side we're going to have one two three alcove sort of things there and then the same matching up the other side one two three obviously the telly's going to be sunk in the sound bar's going to be sunk in not quite sure what we're going to do with the playstation or anything yet we might put it in the bottom box and just put a door over it and the same over that side just to match or we might dig this out put a door on the front and just hide it there not sure yet but we're going to leave a gap around the telly for our philips hue lights that are around the telly the other two Philips Hue lights, I'm probably going to move those upstairs into my son's room so it'll match his telly up there. No, it won't because the sink box isn't up there, but he can just have them as lights. So, well, the plan is socket there and a socket down there. They're for electric recliners. So all this is going, we're going to be having a double or three-seater, three-seater there and a single here, whichever way around we do it. But they're power for that. And I'm also going to be putting our Philips Hue lamps that are in the studio in each corner just to light it up a bit make it nice when I need them in the studio I will take them down there this switch on the back is for the back light so that's going to be stained I didn't do this so this house we bought it off the council uh, three or four years ago something like that so everywhere's trunked everywhere is crap basically the house has got one ring um, so I'm going to be rewiring the front room as a ring on its own so that'll be nice. These I'm just going to disconnect by go box in the ceiling, get rid of them. And then we're going to be putting down lights in here, fed from a two gang switch that we've chopped in. And I'm going to be putting a spotlight in each little alcove, which will be nice. So at the wall, we're going to have a two gang switch. One's going to do the spots. One is going to do the media wall. So for now, the fuse board is just the other side of that wall in a little cupboard. So I'm going to come up through the floor. I'm going to be dropping leg of the ring down here. Leg, I don't even need a ring. Leg of the radial down there, leg of the radial here, and then I'm going to fly over and just leave the final leg dangling out the ceiling there. So when the media wall's in, I can run it to wherever. Obviously, we're going to have sockets behind the TV. We're going to have a load behind here because of the router and everything that's smart tings there. It probably would make sense to put something here as well because I think a lot of it is going to have to go in there because it won't fit in the alcove. But we will find out eventually. So first thing I've done is marked up these two double sockets. I've got the chaser in, I've got the hoover in. I'm gonna get those chopped out. So one, two, I can't get the floor up above because that's my one son's room. That is my other son's room. And they are full as you can imagine. So the joists, looking at the um, nails that we can see run this way. So what I'm gonna to have to do is do a channel 
either a channel right the way across or four inch holes in each bay so that I can drill it out. Depending on what I do, I'm not, I'm not really sure yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. So I've took these rads off as well. Oh no, jack of all trades, you know what I mean? But that is as far as I've got. So I've took those off and these were all boxed in. So I've ripped the boxing off. What I'm gonna do, chase a new set of pipes in and they're gonna come straight down the wall there across to a single box and just poke out of a single box there for that new radiator there. Then there's another radiator on this side. I'm just gonna be capping these legs off. When we have the floor up above, I will remove the dead legs, but I'll probably just loop them back in under there. That's been a leak there, but that was there before. We just didn't know because it was wallpapered, nice. So I'm gonna loop those back up so that they're still live, and then yeah, nice. Let's stop rabbiting and get the tools on, aye. So I'm going to chop these sockets in first. I've got two chops there. Not going to chop over that side because it can run beyond the media wall stud work. And I'll get this switch chopped in and then we'll come back. Right, we are chopped and boxed. So double socket there, double socket over on that chop. And this is going to be a two gang light switch. Look how tidy it is to be fair to me. That chasing tool's mint. That hoover's terrible. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. It's time for me to tell you about what's happened. My van is done, basically. Well, it's not done, it's only done 80,000 mile. I had it brand new, 2014. But the other day, woke up in the morning, flashed the van, nothing. Okay, open the driver's door, driver's door opens, drive to the job, thinking, oh, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, but, Got there, none of the doors are open. Passenger doors shut, sliding doors shut, rear doors shut, none have keys. <laughs> it's just my look this. So, I get in the driver's door, I think, oh, passenger door will open. No, it won't. No, it won't. So my next port call is the fuses. Fuse in the central lockings, obviously blown. Where's the fuse box? Driver's door panel. Well, on the side of the driver's door. You've not driver's passengers, so you basically you've got to open the passenger door to get to the fuses. We couldn't open it. I'll get the door card off. Couldn't get to the screws. <laughs> so basically I have ragged the door card off, multi-tool the hole to get into the fuses. The fuse wasn't blown. No, it was not. So we've got into the doors, got into the locks, and all the motors on all the locks have fried. So we've managed to get into the passengers, the back. I don't think the sliding door's ever going to open again. Because it's just fried, and I cannot get to the lock. So that's that. So I've got to have all new locks fitted, all new deadlocks fitted. And I don't know what's caused it. Might be the relay stuck on, something's obviously stuck on, but it's just fried it. Luckily, my mate's gone on holiday this week and he's lent me his van. Big up Mike if you watch him. Thank you. Legend. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I do not know. I've had to break into my own van. Luckily, I've done it without damaging anything outside, so you can't, you can't um, tell from the bodywork. Once the locks are replaced, it'll be sound. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, enough of that because I've been depressed enough about that, yeah? Next plan of attack is get the ladders off the van and get the stud buddy out, and then I'm gonna mark every single joist as far across as I need to get. So fuse boards in here, I can get the floor up above here because I did it not long ago to feed the garden. So then we'll come in, we'll go straight across, hopefully fish across to there, first leg down there, and then it'll go off there, to here, we'll have a hole here and a hole in this little alcove bit here, which we will fish across and leave a cable hanging down there. So that is all the sockets fed in here. Everything that's in the media wall, I'll go through that on another video probably, or later on in this video, depending on how far we get, and sort out what we're gonna do regarding power in there. I'm then gonna pull a new lighting circuit in, so I'm gonna feed the switch there, I'm gonna come off to feed our down lights, which once we've marked up the uh, joists, we'll know where they're gonna go. One switch is going to them and the other switch I'm also going to leave hanging down there which we can sort out after to put it in the alcoves. Down light wise I think we're going to be going for the Lucigo Smart lights which we've fitted loads before on this channel if you haven't seen you'll see them on different videos. 
but basically I think probably six in the main area that's off the one switch which are going to be separately connected into the app so we can change the colors of those and then the six alcove lights obviously on the other switch which are also going to be separate on the app so if we say change the media wall lights it'll change those lights if we say change the lounge lights it'll change these lights nice it's like swiss cheese in the ceiling oh yeah okay drilled out four inch holes in the ceiling i can batten those with a bit of wood screw it back up ollie's just going to plaster over the ceiling's fine there is a big crack there, but that can just be taped up and skimmed over. So the whole ceiling's getting skimmed. The walls are getting skimmed. The walls are pretty much terrible, but I can't afford to pick it back to brick at the minute. So it is what it is. It's going to get skimmed over. The walls aren't, they're not that bad. There's a lot of little surface cracks there. Hopefully they don't come back through. Big Ollie says they might. He knows best. We move. So that's drilled out now. I've got to drill all the joists out. I've got our route back to the board. That comes through to the first hole. We're going to shoot across. Well, first we're going to shoot down to here. So those cables there, I've just pulled from the original ring circuit. So I'm going to cut those there, join them up, put them in a wagger box, chuck them in the ceiling. We're then going to come down with our first leg, fish back across to our run of holes. Dig, 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 dig through all the joists across to that hole there and then drop it down our next socket back up across and down finishing it off in that corner nice we're going to follow the same route from the board one five down that hole there feed our light switch back up through all the joists where we need to to feed our spotlights and then one final leg over in that corner nice how nice will it be when i can just sit down new sofas nice media wall nice lighting and send invoices using Tradify, today's video sponsor. So big up Tradify, thank you. If you don't know what Tradify is, it is our job management software that we don't use to get balloons. You can though, if you make balloons, you could use it for your business. But we use it for our invoicing, our quoting, and our scheduling jobs, and also our database of materials from the wholesalers, prices, things like that. But I wanted to tell you about an awesome feature that I have discovered. Won't work for me because I'm not a subcontractor and I don't have subcontractors. But if you do have subcontractors, then this will work perfectly for you and your business. Basically, you can invite subcontractors via your account, via the app, to then schedule work for each other. So you can schedule work for your subbies, send them out to the job, they can start the job, start the timer, you know how long they've been there, you can then pay them, they can invoice you. There's no quibbling or quabbling. There really is loads of amazing features within this app. We use it, we're very, very happy with it. We used it before they sponsored us and we were still happy with it then. So big up trade if I'm sponsoring the video. If you haven't checked it out, I'm gonna leave a link in the description which will give you a free 14 day trial. If you do like it after your 14 days, use code JLC50 for 50% off your first three months. Back to the job. So we have had my beautiful apprentice Zoe helping and we've fished the fuse boards up through the floor in the landing and we've posted them down into the fuse board. There she is, look, yay! You definitely won't get me in like this. Sorry, that's recording mate. Anyway, so this is our 2.5, I've now got to fish that over and down here and our 1.5 I've pulled through, if she moves, Sorry. at the switch there. So that's that. I'm gonna bounce these around now and then that is near enough done for this. Well, this has changed. I didn't record anything. I'll be honest with you. I've been messing with my van. We're in, we're in the van. I've changed all the locks. They sent me the wrong lock for the sliding door, but I'll get another one, don't worry. It's all secure, it's locked, it's working. We're in the van, we're nice, but I do apologize. It has wrecked my video because I haven't had time. And to be fair, the chip is come, Built that, big up to them. And then Ollie come, while they were still finishing it. So it has come on quite a bit, I'll show you. So in here, that was the chop for the socket. That was the chop for the other socket. That is the light switch. That chop to the left of it, I've buried the central heating pipes, come across and there they are just looping out the wall. There, so that's that. And now we're onto the media wall. <whistles> Damn, look at that, nice. So TV there, 
soundbar there it's been measured out perfectly it's absolutely mint i am over the moon with it hopefully it looks as good once we light her up so each of these boxes these have got no power in apart from one down light so that's going to be nice and then these three in here so power wise and hdmi i'll go through that quickly we've got two legs here so an in and that board was short then and in and out and we've got a hd lead that goes down to the sound bar as well as power for a plug and then in here we've got our main bt so there's our master socket i've just ripped it off and left it hanging for now so we've got master socket and all our cat fives that go around the house and then we've also got oh, two legs here which is going to do power in there. So this bottom one's going to be a bit sort of like a comms cab sort of thing. So it's going to have our network switches, which is down there with the internet. It's a bit of a mess at the minute. And the PlayStation and everything's going to sit in there as well. So here's another HD lead that goes off up to the telly. So again, I do apologise for missing most of that. Well, all of that. But I've just been stressing so much with that van and I'm so happy it's done. Have a nice Zoe. <laughs> She's been going mad at me because I've been a knob to her and to everyone else because I couldn't get in the van. Borrowed Mike's van, big up Mike. But yeah, it's going on. It's coming on. Ceiling's plastered. In the end, we went for four spots. One in each corner. So one there, one there, two over there. They're going to be colour changing. The media wall's going to be colour changing. Two gang switch. We will come back when it's plastered. As you can see, a lot has changed. So I've had a nightmare with my van again, fixed it, paid for all new locks, locked the van, blew up again. All the central lockings melted again, I've had an absolute nightmare. So yeah, this video is meant to be a good video, but it's just gone to shit on it. <laughs> Basically, there's no other way of saying it. But I'll show you what I've done so far. So Big Andy has just gone, big up Andy from AMC, and he's sorted the radiator out. We've put that on. I've put my smart valve back on from Tado, which is what we leak. So rad's on. I've put a double socket there, white plastic for now. Double socket there, white plastic. I've still got to screw that back. This little alcove here, I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to put a bank of sockets on Patrice's there for the router, all the stuff like that. That looks a right mess, doesn't it? But it's on, you know. And I've just finished putting this up. Nice, look at them. So there's a socket behind that uh, sound bar. I won't show you that because that is horrendously rough what I've done with that. But it's not deep enough, thick enough to get a socket in. So it's on anyway. But yeah, we've got a double socket behind here. You can just see the cable there. But what I'm going to do is probably change this bracket to be fair so the bracket that's on doesn't really sit very well so i'm probably going to put a flush one or just change it for something else but it is looking mint so what i'm going to do now with you lot is three lights in there three lights in there i've got temporary lights on which were just some spots that i had in the van but i'm going to be changing all of them so 10 in total into these smart down lights so there's going to be six which are going to be switched on the one switch which are for the media wall, and then there's going to be four in the ceiling. So they're going to be separately set up with Alexa and all that jazz into the app, so that if I say media wall lights on, the media wall lights come on, lounge lights, lounge lights, and I can control them all separately in two groups within the BG app. So I do apologise for the lack of content in this video. Hopefully it's enough to get a video together. I am gutted, to be fair, because I wanted to get the build, I wanted to get everything, but... The chippies came, they built the media wall. Before they'd finished, Ollie was here to board it. I had to literally throw the cables around and get them in. And now, plaster's dry, fans broke, heating's on, it's nice and warm in here. Nice, big up Andy, yeah. Big up everyone, actually, who's worked on this so far. Big up um, A&D, who's done the media wall. Big up Ollie, who's done the plastering. As always, he is a G. And big up Andy, who is a legend. You know you're a legend if you're watching this, Andy. You absolute G. But yeah, he's good at everything. He's done all the skirting, arcade, door, heating, everything like that. It's just mint. So basically, off through the cables about. I will take credit though. It does look nice. Look at them. 
Right, I'll get the spots out now. I'm going to do these four first, get these on, get them registered in the app, and then we'll go through cutting all these out and getting them set up as well. Boom, that's those lights swapped over. So we're on the app now. Oh, it's a bit bright, isn't it? On the app now, and I've set up them as lounge lights. So we'll have lounge lights and media wall lights. So if we're going to colour, we can change the colours. And if I press it, straight away, the lights react. Nice. So this is going to look mint, as you can imagine, once those media wall lights are in. It's going to be mint leak. But yeah, that's those four done. Now I'm going to go through the six in the media wall. So for the lights that are going in here, I know centre, there's nothing around there. There's no joists, there's no timbers, there's no nothing. So what I'm going to do on each one, mark exactly the centre in all of them. Get it drilled out with, I did have a new bit somewhere. Needs it because uh, my old one would wreck it leak. But yeah, I'll get these drilled out. Hopefully get my arm up. If not, James will be coming in and getting his arm up. But we'll get them on, get them connected, and then I'll go through the setup once again with you for these lights. But you do know I love those lights on this channel. I've got them. Where have I got them? I've got them in my bedroom, in the studio, on the studio, in here now, and in this media wall. And they're absolutely mint. They work mint with... Alexa, Google, whatever you want them to work with, or just through the app, or just off the switch. Perfect, they are awesome. So I'm just gonna be taking a measurement now from here, which is forty-nine and a half by forty-nine and a half. So forty-nine and a half, forty-nine and a half, halfway, draw a little X in the middle, drill it out. So we've marked out the center. We've got the hole saw. Let's get it out. Oh, damn. So if you saw me struggling through that, I'll show you why. Each of these boxes is made out of this wood underneath the plasterboard. It's just to give it strength. You're never going to break it. It's a bit stronger. It's nice. That's what we want. But yeah, these are going to take some going through to get through them. It's a brand new cutter, but... How long will it last is the question. So I'll get these all drilled out now, fish the cables through, connect them up, and then we'll go through the setup. I'll just show you quickly the lights that we're fitting. So Luceco F-Type, they are smart, color changing, everything you want. But lift this little flap up here, I've just pulled it off easier. And we've got Nell Nell, Neutral Earth Live, Neutral Earth Live. You can then put that back on if you've ripped it off. Close it down, screw the little screw in if needs be to tighten it up. If you're using a smaller cable or anything like that, that'll tighten it down onto it. Magnetic bezels, so different colored bezels, whichever ones you need, they can go on after. What I'm gonna do is keep these off until it's all painted and then pop them back on with the magnet. IP65, so we've got a little strip here. If you're not using it in a wet area, that can come off. I like to leave them on everywhere, but you can take them off sometimes. When you've pinched down, you might be able to see a little bit to the side of the bezel. So some people take them off, I leave them on. So got these to connect up and then we'll power them up and get them on the app. So she is wired in and these are the switches that we've gone for. They are matte black BG Evolve and they are nice. So there's gonna be those sockets as well, but they haven't come yet, I have ordered them. They'll be there for their USB socket there. USB socket over there. So, let's turn them on. Woof, nice. So these are pulsing now, which means they're in pairing mode. So setup mode, and they're in smart setup for the Wi-Fi. So let's get the app out. So in the app now, obviously we've got our room set up for what we've got before. So we're gonna plus, add device, Wi-Fi equipment, lighting, LED down lights, and it says switch on the lamp. The lamp will pull slowly on and off for smart setup mode. So next, connect your phone to the Wi-Fi. Next, connect now. So it'll now do phone is connecting and device is connecting. So once they've picked up, it will go through the setup for the first one. You're then going to add more devices, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll come back when that's done. So they're all now paired and they're not flashing. They're in the app. So as you can see on the app, We've got L1234, which is lounge ceiling lights. I've just named them L1234. And then the group lounge lights, which is the color changing group, 
We've then got one, two, three, four, five, six in the M, which we're now going to create a group for. So we're going to plus create group, and it's going to be a F type RGB group. So click on that, and we're then going to tick on here our uh, media wall lights. So M1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Choose a room, we're going to be putting them living room, and we're going to be calling them media wall lights. Not lokes. Oh my god. Media wall lights. Then we can go to use groups now. And then we can start changing the colours of things. So, ignore the TV one because that's not in it, that's the Philips Hue, but we will be setting that up eventually. So, the media wall lights, we can press on red, and now go red. We can press on green, and they'll go green. So we can change through all the different things here, so we can turn them off which we can also do through Alexa or Google and all that jazz. We can turn them back on if we want them back on. I don't know why that one's doing that. So we can turn them back on. They're all back on. We can change through the colour temperature. So cool white, warm white, daylight. We can change through the actual colour if we want RGB colours. Go up the slider, saturation there. So if we change them back to blue, We can then go on to the brightness, turn them up or down. So turn them right the way up to 100. We can turn them down to 5%. And they'll dim right down there. We can turn them back to 60 or we can leave them on 100. So as you can see, that looks absolutely mint. Ignore me Pokemon cards under there. <laughs> yay, yay. But yeah, six there four in the ceiling so matte black switch that looks awesome also very 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 nice plastic as well which is nice fits perfectly on that wall there nice and flush they're really nice to be fair those evolve round jar i've used them on videos before but i've used the white that is sick so i've got one to change down there and one to change over the back so that is it for this video big up yourselves i do apologize honestly my head's been all over the shop with this van. It's really, really, really annoyed me. But we're back, hopefully. We'll get weekly videos back out. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. I'm going to do another video in here when it's all painted and go through the setup we're going to be doing for the PlayStation, the internet, everything like that. How we're going to be mounting it to the wall just to make it look a bit nice because I've still got sockets to go down there. So I'll get those on as well, which will be a nice video. Big up Tradify for sponsoring the video. Like I said earlier, if you haven't checked it out, do check it out with the link in the description, which will give you a 14-day free trial. If you do like it, use code JARC50 for 50% off your first three months. Big up Tradify. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully you like it. Let me know. I'm sorry I couldn't get it all on, uh, on video. It has really annoyed me, if you can tell. But it's one of them things. We're still here. That's the main thing, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, big up yourselves. See you later. Terra.